Don't blame conspiracy theories on people if you're not living an inspired life. We make the job easier, people who don't like us, if we're jerks. But when you are able to become iconic in your inspiration, as the prophet was, because you live for the hereafter, not for this life, then people will respect you. Your enemies will respect you because you inspire them. And that's why Abu Sufyan, when they came to him and said, Um Habiba married the prophet. And that was at the height of his hatred for the prophet. What did Abu Sufyan say? I could think of no one for her better to marry than him. Inspiration. When the Arabs who did not become Muslim would go back to their people and say, Muhammad is the most generous human being I've ever seen in my life. Inspired. Imam Muslim relates that one of the poets of the Prophet was a Christian. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that the guy who helped the Prophet drop a mixtape wasn't even from his religion? Because he was inspired by the Prophet. And that's why I'm not down with all this conspiracy theory stuff. Look at us. Look how we treat people. How we treat ourselves. How we treat the people that are struggling in their deen. As though we expect everyone to be like Jibreel. Where the Prophet could inspire the sinner. And inspire his enemy. Because he lived a life of inspiration. We can't even inspire our children. And we want to blame the Jews. <laughs> Cop out. People of conspiracies are weak people. The Prophet said something. He never sat around and said, well, the Quraysh are doing this and they doing that. And, you know, they got the power structure and this Illuminati and Jay-Z and, you know, this Diamond and Masons and Dan Brown and... Once, myself and Brother Daniel, we were, well, actually I was, I told him about it, in a restaurant here in Malaysia with some young cats, not from YMP. And I remember these brothers started asking me about the arrivals, some flick called the arrivals, yo. I thought it was like the born ultimatum, I didn't know what they were talking about, man. <laughs> and then I said, the arrivals? They were like, Imam Suhaib, man, you know, you were in Egypt and like Muhammad Abdu was a mason and, you know, Sheikh Rashid Ridda was a mason. And what do you think about like the 33 degrees and the cipher of the Asiatic black man from the land of Kush? I said, man, what the heck are you talking about, man? <laughs> I don't know. You've been listening to too much like old school hip hop or something, dude. Like, what's wrong with you, man? And there was a guy in front of the store, in front of the restaurant we were at, who was begging for food. And these brothers are telling me, Illuminati, Illuminati, Beyonce, and you know, they married, and it's like, it's like the Matrix, and Neo, and whatever, and they got married, and I was Jigga, and you know, B. And I was like, bro, I don't, I don't you know. I mean, I know a little bit, but I don't know that much, man. And then we went out, and this dude was begging for food. They didn't give him any food. Then I said to them, you brothers, the whole time, you're like someone that has an infection in his lungs and you're worried about like a busted fingernail. This man right here is asking for food and you idiots, and I said it like this, you idiots are talking about this garbage. I said, if you want to be illuminated, feed that man right there. That's the Illuminati. 